got Coach Drayton here. Coach, you want to have some opening remarks? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, this one burns a little bit because I know uh, I know the investment our guys have been putting in. I mean, you know, had a tough one against UCF a week ago, and they came in and prepared their tails off. Did a great job of responding, practiced their, their tails off. Leadership started emerging, you know, uh, really pushing each other, pulling on each other, whatever it takes. Guys were stepping up and putting themselves in uh, – really uncomfortable spots from a personality standpoint. You know, I thought Jordan McGee did a phenomenal job of leading, you know, uh, all week long, and that's not his comfort zone. He's a, you know, introvert, and, you know, I know our guys are important when they can, excuse me, I know our guys, I know the game of football is important to our guys when they are starting to get comfortable, you know, um, in uncomfortable situations, like stepping outside their personality and trying to do what's best for each other and the betterment of this football team. So, um, you know, for that, you know, um, it's a little disappointing for them. But uh, the positive is, I mean, man, those guys fall. You know, um, we had a whole bunch of adversity take place during the course of that game. And, there's no quitting this team. I mean, they're showing me over and over and over that they're they're willing to go the distance and keep fighting. You know, um, two linemen go down, next man up, we find a way to get the ball in the end zone there. You know, and uh, then convert the the two point play, but still had enough time on the clock. Defense does a phenomenal job. Rigby just has a series there where he gets a TFL and. You know, just, you know, two plays in a row where he's making a play to give the offense a chance to get the ball back in. And, uh, you know, we stumbled and bumbled around there. But um, just just that right there is something that we will build from uh, as a football family. Um, just got to really work on just complimentary football, really finding a way to, to really get some field position off of our special teams units right now. We're just... You know, trying to stretch the field with with uh, movement on offense right now, and you know, um, not you know doing an adequate job, but not not good enough, obviously. But uh, you know, I feel as though if we can stop Tulsa's explosive runs today, right? You know, we knew we were going to have to deal with the quarterback, but um, they really got the run game going. You know, credit to those guys, they uh, and, and really hit us with a couple of explosive plays. I want to say. You know, nine runs uh, went for 238 yards. I mean, you know, again, that's the equalizer. Anytime you can create explosive plays, it's hard to really come back unless you're creating explosive plays on, on our side of the ball, which, you know, we, we need to find a way to do more of those things. So, um, but hey, you know, I, I know my guys are going to bounce back and, uh, you know, that's the look on their eyes and, the tears coming down their face right now is telling me a lot. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll build from this and, um, you know, we'll, we'll endure this process and, and uh, you know, get ready for the next game. You know, it's, I got to go back and see the film to give you some specific answers. I mean, um, some of our defensive calls, you know, our linebackers got to make those fits. Some of those calls, our safety's got to make those fits, you know, and, you know, um, I, I'm not privy enough right now to give you specifics on that. What was the thought process to go for that two rather than just play it straight and be within seven? Well, we're trying to win the ball game. You know, there's plenty of time on the clock and, I knew that, you know, we were offensively kind of up and down during the course of the game, you know, so uh, I was trying to give ourselves a chance to, when we got the ball back, to, to win the ball game. But early on, Brett, when you sort of consider how much the offense has to scratch for points at times, um, to bypass points early when you're up and zip, right, you, you went for it on the fourth and three, you've got to aggress with that a lot. But sort of, you know, when you're inside the 10, right, the 10, Kind of giving up points for an offense that's not maybe going to get a ton of points. How, how do you sort of weigh some of that decision? 
Well, I trust my analytics. You know, I, I do rely on that quite a bit. And, you know, I, I do make emotional calls from time to time. But, um, you know, looking at me getting those three points still wouldn't have been good enough today, would it? So, try to win the ball game. Can you talk about the impact that Varner and Jordan had in the first half? I mean, Varner had three and a half sacks in the first half. Kind of the first time popped out that big of a lane in a long time. What are your thoughts on those two? How they played? Yeah, you know those those were critical deals for us. I was that was part of the the plan to win today. Was we knew we had to get to the quarterback. Um, we had to get him off schedule early. You know he's a guy that can crush it throwing the football. You know he's really good. You know RPO game. He's got receivers that are timed up with him. He's a veteran. You know throwing the football and. We felt as though that we had to knock him off schedule as quickly as possible, you know, and, um, you know, those are tough sacks too, you know, especially the one for, for Varner there where the play gets extended by the quarterback and he's fighting, fighting, you know, those are six, six second plays, you know, and getting the sacks. And um, that's, that's kind of the, what we try to do on defense is create negative plays that way. And it was really good to see those guys uh, um, be able to bring that back to the table against Tulsa today. Yeah, you know, they, 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 they know I'm going to be aggressive and, you know, <coughs> you know, I'll have great answers when we're winning ball games when I'm still calling the game that way. <laughs> you know, everybody's going to be like, yeah, but, uh, you know, obviously we're not winning those games right now, but, you know, my team appreciates that we're going to be aggressive, you know, and we know that, you know, we're going to have to take some risk, you know, to put ourselves in position to win ball games that way. But uh, that was a good momentum builder for us anytime we score, you know, but uh, we know our defense is playing well. Um, and, and there's times where I got to go for it on fourth down, you know, with the support of analytics, but also emotionally, um, to keep my defense off the field from time to time, you, you know what I mean? And you know, and I, in those moments, I absolutely believe that uh, we we're going to make those, uh, execute those, those four down calls. I mean, I just looked at my players in the eye and I felt that that was the right thing to do. But um, we're, we're, we're going to be aggressive. You know, we're, we're, we're going to be an aggressive football team, and we're going to take risk. And uh, at some point, we're going to reap the rewards for those risks. Tell you, Adonikas is a tough nut. I mean, you know, it was a game day decision on whether or not he was going to play or not anyway. And um, he went out there and gave us a, a good half of football, you know, had an opportunity to catch an explosive play. We, we, we dropped it, didn't connect on it. But, um, you know, um, he was tough and not a pretty uh, significant ailment and uh, showed his toughness out there and gave us what he, what he had. And Adam, I think, is going to be just fine, you know. Um, Obviously, it was enough of a hit to get him out the ball game, but uh, you know, just kind of looking at his demeanor and watching him, you know, push those 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 young linemen um, to give it everything they got toward the end of the ball game shows me that he's going to be just fine. So he's he's actually agitated that he wasn't allowed to to finish the game today. So I know those are two tough kids that that are going to be okay. Stan, it seems like Jose and Baines had some miscues um, throughout the game. Yeah, I saw a lot of things uh, being thrown in our area that we didn't connect on, you know, and again, I need to um, really get to the film to see what is it, is it, you know, is it the throw, is it the route, you know, is it the protection, is it pressure, I got I to gotta really go back and assess that, but, um, you know, I'll have a better answer for that. Yeah, I didn't see Jakari Norwood out there. Uh, no, he's got some personal things he's dealing with. Final question for Stan. Jalen, uh, it was uh, the pass interference. It's all the opposite the field from you, but that pass interference gets Jalen sort of turned into where I think I did touch on it. Following it. But all, if you went and saw or he fell or the coach upstairs, saw him on that. Hey, you know, those, those our officials get paid to officiate the ball game, and, you know, we just got to trust that they're, they're doing it, you know, um, Fairly, and I think they they are. So you know, they said it was PI. It was a PI.
Fire Show.